All right, guys, I made some improvements to the awesome 3 milliliter tank mod. Uh, whenever you get it done, it'll look like that. That's the inside with the tank on the back there, and, of course, that's the mouthpiece. And that's what you'll have coming off the end of your battery. I have one, too. I don't make mine fancy like <laughs> you guys, but... Works really well. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this now. Um... <clears throat> The black stuff that you see on there, that's uh, a shrink wrap. You can get it at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, just leave a little space so you can see your uh, see your tank. First thing you want to have is a five milliliter sy syringe. So um, I've got a syringe that's already cut down. For the tank, you want to take the cap off. And you want to drill a very small hole just like in the uh, other way to do the mod. Um, so you can take a piece of your foam. You want to cut about one inch. Let me find a square piece here. About a half inch wide to, to one and a half inches long. There you go, about one and a half, half inch wide to one and a half inches long. Then, you're going to make two cuts in the middle. You want it to look like so. Alright, I've got the hole drilled in the cap. Um, nice and small, no more than an eighth of an inch wide. Then you take your blue foam, have a little piece peeled back like so, stick it in there, and then you can use a toothpick to work it in through the hole. Once it starts coming through, you can grab it and pull it the rest of the way through. There you go. Then you'll end up with that. <clears throat> the remaining foam, break off a piece of this toothpick, you want to cram it all the way down in there. Cram it in tight as you can get it. And then you want to cut it off to where only about a quarter of an inch is coming out. All right, the the foam wick shouldn't be any thicker than the cap. Now we got to move on to the atomizer. All right, the love of my life told me to slow down for you guys. Said I'm going too fast. All right. So once you have it pulled through the cap, you can move on to the atomizer. Um, take the atomizer and the, slide the end of the cap in just like that, alright? Um, I've done this a million times so I know that that foam is just barely hitting the bridge but when you make yours you kind of want to line it up and kind of look in there and make sure that that foam is long enough to just press up against the bridge, alright? Uh, the old mod, you had to take the atomizer apart and take the bridge out. This way is easier, and that's why I did it, because I had a lot of people ask for, say that it was too complicated. But this should be easy enough to do. All right. Um, <clears throat> you notice the cap goes in about a third of an inch, about right there. You want to drill your holes at the very top, and you want your holes to be as small as possible. So you want the, each hole, one hole to be about right, about right there and then one on the other side. Um, I'm going to go drill these holes and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. I've got the hole drilled. I don't know if you can see it. Camera's not very good. Then you want to take the cap and hold it in and push it right on in. If you got it right your hole should be above the depth of the cap. All right. Now, this next part you can do by hand. If you want, you can just hold the cap in there when you apply the sealant. But uh, I went and bought a little cheap clamp. It was like $7 to pinch it in there. Just run it back. Now, what I've been using is uh, JB Quick Weld. I use JB Quick Weld. Just mix it in even parts. Very, very small amount for this mod. 
and then you put it around and then you want to I use a toothpick for this too and then you just want to put a thin bead of it around the edge to kind of hold it together all right once you get the shrink wrap on there there isn't, isn't even any need for the quick weld but I put it on there just to make sure it holds together so I'm gonna mix that up real quick and I'll be right back all right I'm back I've got the JB quick weld mixed up um, if you're not familiar with it Hold on, phone call. Ask him. I'm not gonna answer. Just take it and just put a thin bead right where the cap meets the uh, atomizer. All right. So that stuff has um, four minutes to dry. Once it dries, we'll take it out of the clamp and I'll show you the next step. I'm recording right now. <laughs> That's alright. While, that, uh, <laughs> while that stuff is drying, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. There it is. The uh, seven seven milliliter cartridge. It fits in just like a regular cartridge. It's a sneak peek. I'm gonna. Uh, I haven't perfected it yet, but uh, as soon as I get it done, I'm gonna be sure to let you guys have it. It's kind of long, but um, smokes good. Seven milliliters. I think that might be the largest cartridge out there that you can build for like three dollars and fifty cents. Three dollars and fifty cents, and you have the tank of all tanks. I'll get back to that later. Should be dry. Um, go ahead and loosen up the clamp. Pull it off. Next step is to take a piece of um, shrink wrap. Now the reason why I'm putting this shrink wrap on is because when I cut it, it's going to hold the seal in place. Shrink it on down, like so. You can see if you shrink the when you shrink the wrap down, you're not going to be able to see it on the camera, but you can see the outline of where the holes are. You want to cut out the holes. There you go, cut out the hole, and then just do the other side the same way. I've already done it. All right, that looks good. Take a little napkin, wipe the black stuff off from the lighter. You see that? Now, next thing, you'll see the indention where your hole is. You want to cut it out again. There you go. I freed up the hole again. Then, next thing you want to do is just kind of cut around the bottom. Should slide right off a bit. That's what you'll have. Now, if you make the seal out of the plunger from the syringe, you'll slide that on there. But I found these seals at AutoZone. That'll slide right on there. Now you want to take another piece of shrink wrap. Don't do this with the seal on. Take another piece of shrink wrap and put it on the bottom end so that it makes a little channel for the seal to sit in. You got your little channel built for the seal. You can go ahead and put your seal in that channel. <clears throat> and that's that. Now, all right, take a bottle. Of course, your bottle, you can fill it all the way up. Oh, shit, just dropped it. Anyway, screw it in. Screw it into your battery, put the mouthpiece over the top, you got a three millimeter tank. 